to a boxing gym I haven't been to yet. It's a boxing gym that has a rip gym. Uh, I saw it, my friend goes there, me and my good friend Emmanuel. Uh, today, I don't know what we're doing, might be, might be doing a light spa, but he does hard sparring, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for hard sparring yet, because my keloid on my ear is still quite big, and it gets kind of irritated when it gets hit, so I don't know if I should risk sparring even, in fact, because of this keloid. I still haven't removed it yet. So I'm still questioning, but going to his gym, because his gym's a lot better, and it just looks better than the gym I go to for boxing, so I'm going to go there, train for him for a bit, then I'm just going to come back home. I've got a couple of errands to run, I've got to drop my mum. I have to do her makeup for a little party she's going to. I'm going to go home and just do a bunch of studying and editing. It's like how my day is. It's quite simple, boring. Send me a heavy spot mm. for actually swine for a couple rounds, please. You actually need to know your endurance, you need to know how you're able to like breathe during rounds and everything. Yeah. But then there's a light spot is when you're working or something. Yeah. And in my gym, when I say you like, go there, no, bro, no, no light spot, bro. No one does light sparring. Bro, you game fight spot every day, every day, every day. <laughs> and you know you're 16, bro. You the same way you That's true. You're not your age. You're oh, yeah, you speak. Bro, I want to guess. This has like depleted, bro. Huh? My fitness has depleted. Has depleted crazy. Wait, so you got yours custom? Yeah, I was with my initials in there. Then it just has the company I did it. And it's just dang too small. So it's like, oh. it's, it's like, as I put it on, it sucks. It's like suction onto my teeth. Shit. Can't lie to you, man. That's first I got knocked down in a fight ever in my life. Start from somewhere, man. Start from somewhere. One thing I need to stop doing, I need to stop looking down. I look down too much when I'm sparring. That's one thing I need to stop doing. Because I clocked. When, I've, when I'm dodging, I move too and I, and I keep I keep getting fooled by your faints all the time, fam. So I can tell with them two bits, you can see where I'm looking down, look at my faints, so you can just carry on hitting. Oh. Start from somewhere, fam.
don't understand how hot it is today. Like, look at my face. It's sweating heavy. But, ah, uh, I swear my mum trapped me. My mum put me in a trick. Because basically, she asked me to drop her home, of course. Not drop her home. Drop her to go do her makeup and her... Um, I forget every every time what's called and uh, what Nigerian woman went in her head. I forget what I don't give it get there or something like that. So she dropped me to go. She asked me to go drop her there. So I dropped her there. Yeah, and she goes to me. Oh yeah, by the way, I haven't got a lift to the next place I'm going to. So basically, the party wherever she's going to after. So I'm like, so how you get to the party after? She went like, are you not gonna wait for me? I was thinking, what? Wait, I need to go home and like I need to study, do all my stuff. And she was like. It's only an hour. Only an hour. An hour turned into an hour and a half. She's there doing makeup, doing gele. And then, like, I'm just there chilling. And my phone's, like, almost dead. And I got my laptop on me because she said, bring your laptop. So I brought my laptop because I know I was going to be there for a while. And my laptop wasn't working properly. So I was just there chilling, just bored. Just watching her do makeup and do her hair. Just, like, I wish she passed and not sleeping. I just felt, I felt so dead. Like, my enemy felt dead, not me. God forbid. Like, I felt so just drained and tired. Like, I got home now, and, like, the place is, like, a half an hour to a 40-minute drive. It was a bit of, like, jamming. But so far, I was just, I was just vibing on the car on the way back, which I'm kind of cool now. But it's already, like, 5 o'clock. And deep in mind, I haven't even had a shower since my boxing. So I'm smelling so bad, and I'm just... I'm still hungry, because that cereal's not enough. Oh, what... I can't lie. What mums do to trick you when you're driving, like... She's taking, she's taking liberty, mate. She's taking a flipping liberty. But yeah, I'm just going to go go in, have a shower. I'm, I've been sweating so much today. Make some food. Then try to do the night dirty for a bit. Then just chill after that. Because it's already five. And well, the night dirty was like four and a half hours. So we're like, I'll probably finish that at like ten. Something like that. So let me get this all done quickly. What's up, on the guys? So it is the next day. Uh, unfortunately, yesterday I didn't do the night dirty roll. I didn't apply it yesterday because. After doing my mum some errands, I got home like around half five and I was kind of tired so I, I ate some food quickly and I was like half oh, six I thought let me get a quick nap and my nap actually turned into sleep so I ended up waking up like 10, 11 so that my day is already over so I never actually got the chance to do the night either at all because I ended up waking up around 10 because I had to go pick my mum up again so I had to do like a 20 minute drive to go pick her up and come back home so I was like Maybe I was just a bit tired yesterday after the boxing and you know, all it was is just having to do errands for my mum. Like, if you guys know, doing errands for your mum is not no simple thing. You're gone for hours and you just, the majority of the thing, you're just sitting down there or just walking aimlessly, just doing nothing. And then, because I said it before yesterday, my laptop wasn't charged properly. So I, I couldn't even do nothing on my laptop or anything like that. So I was just like stuck there, just looking at, the time go by, just wasting time. But yeah, um, it's the next day. I've just done some laundry at breakfast and I'm just going to apply the night dirty rule now properly. And I'm going to do some editing, studying and studying. That's how I'm going to break it down into.
So guys, um, I'm studying Coursera and the last quiz they give you, or last exam, in a way, whatever you want to say, to pass the whole module you're on, you got three attempts every 24 hours. I've done two attempts and I've failed by one question both times and different questions. So this is my last attempt, my very last attempt. And if I don't pass this one, I've got to do another one in 24 hours. Which is not bad, but it's just stress knowing that I couldn't pass the first three times. That I gotta wait twenty four hours again and just restudy. Same time if I fail this one, it shows I just got more to improve and more to learn. If I pass this one, I just say thank God. <laughs> this is stress. This is stress. This is stress I don't like. Failing. Really don't like that. Out of 80%, I need 80% to pass. I got 75. I got 75%. 75%. By five. Now I've got already 23 hours, 48 minutes. 23 hours and 48 minutes I have to wait. Stress. I don't want to wait that long. I don't. I don't. But now I have to. This is a lesson to learn to not rush your stuff. That take your time when you're studying because you can fuck up. Like I did. Not once. Not twice, but three times. You can fuck up three times, they got. Learn for 24 hours. <laughs>